What's going on YouTube? Callan Wesley here. It's about 10 o'clock actually on the head right now. Just got to the gym. Gonna destroy some boulder shoulders. Yeah. Probably do about six exercises, five sets in each. I normally work on a range from eight to 12, except for my side lateral raises. I'm gonna try and get 25 each time. Really take it old school bodybuilding. Yeah, when I get back, I'll show you some of the, the pump and my pre-post-workout meal. My pre-workout meal, like I always have, I just had my oats and all that. So let's okay, get it. I just finished my shoulder workout, driven to university because I need to pick my sisters up. Yeah, I went with them today. Then I drove their car to gym because I didn't have any lectures and on a student budget, you know, petrol's always tight. So yeah, now I'm going to show you guys my post-workout meal. As you can see, this is it. I've got my veggies and I got my steak beef strips. So I've got about 300, no, 285 grams beef strips and then 100 grams of mixed veg. But it's it's called garden mix something. You can find it at your local supermarkets. Um, yeah, so I get about 40 grams fat, 70 grams protein, and then about four grams of carbs from you. Cause I don't really want to be eating a lot of carbs, especially that I'm on my diet and I'm trying to cut I stepped on the scale today, 91.2 kgs. So I think over the next couple of weeks, I've still got another six weeks left, left of dieting. I'm gonna maybe just up my carbs a little bit and alter my fats a bit because I'm a little bit lighter than what I wanna be at this point. Started off at 97 four weeks ago. So yeah, it's going well. Still a long road ahead of us. Currently I'm eating 286 grams of protein a day, uh, 165 grams of carbs, and 105 grams of protein so in the next couple of weeks i'm meant to be dropping my carbs but i think i'm going to raise them a bit for next week just to try and put them like not to lose too much weight not to go into a catabolic state and then the next couple of weeks just really cut my carbs probably down to about 80 and then i'm probably going to go down to about 88 89 but you know it's all worth it I want to get nice and cut so yeah at the end of the day is what are you going to do and then also after this meal i like to have fruit so i got myself some grapes it's literally just a bunch of grapes i like them they green grapes don't really know the difference between green and the other color grapes you get but yeah i'll eat that and then that's my meal Check okay, you guys so later. i just finished eating my post-workout meal and I was busy looking through the videos that I had just recorded and I was like, damn boy, you're looking like really pale. So I'm definitely going to organize myself a spray tan, make the gains look even more noticeable, make them look more shredded. Yeah, and the beard's looking a little bit untamed. Yeah, I don't really grow facial hair, but I've been trying. That's all that matters really. And yeah, so I'm probably going to shave that off. I'm not too sure if I need to keep my hair long. It's like really long. Grow it like City Cat Zovix or like shave it at the sides. Put in a man bun like Steve Cook's. Yeah, and I was just like watching Steve Cook's videos and that also. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to make myself a vlog also. Something I enjoy doing. At the end of the day, people are going to watch it and they're going to hate on me. They're going to see me post a thing to say, my vlog's up, whatever, go check it out and they're going to hate. But, you know, at the end of the day, it comes down to pleasing yourself, what you think of yourself. So, the haters don't phase me at all. So, that's what you guys must do. Do whatever makes you happy. We're all going to make it, so, whatever you want to do, go out and do it. It's never too late to start something. It's not how you start, it's how you feel. Finish. Just arrived now at my mom's house, decided to come jump in the pool because I was feeling a little bit warm. Turned out to be a terrible idea. It is absolutely freezing. It's about 20 degrees Celsius outside, but this pool must be, I don't even want to guess, it's absolutely, absolutely freezing. But anyways, I'm going to jump out just now, lie in the sun, try and get a little bit darker, and then I'll probably hit some afternoon cardio just when the sun goes down. When everyone's on their way home from work, I'll probably just do about two kilometers. Don't know how many miles that is, but yeah. It's nice to just relax sometimes, hit gym in the morning as you guys saw. I'm doing, most days I do a three days on, one day off, three days on. But these last couple of days I've been doing like five days on, one day off, five days on, one day off. So then I get to hit every muscle group just comes down what to suit you like 
they say, I just need to try and remember this quote now. I got told it quite a while ago and it's just stick to me. They said knowledge is knowing that a tomato is a fruit, but understanding is not putting it in a fruit salad. So you can have all the knowledge about gym and stuff, but if you don't put it into action and actually follow the right steps in your training, you're never going to see results. So I just think that's, that's your quote for the day. Hashtag getting deep. So yeah, take it, use it as you may. Check you later for my afternoon cardio. Okay, what's going on guys? It's about 6 o'clock at night. Just getting my evening cardio in. Doing what I just did. Walk in one direction for 10 minutes. Turn around, walk back. One way down or one way uphill. So normally it takes me about 25 minutes. So yeah, it's just something that has to be done. All the cars that are driving past me, looking at me like I'm crazy because I'm talking to my phone. But I wanted to make a video. So I'm going to do it. YOLO. They say the best walking speed to walk at is so that you walk at a pace where you will be out of breath, but we can still have a conversation with someone else. So that's what I'm doing. Feels it works best for me. Got an early start tomorrow. Meeting my mom for training, seven o'clock in the morning. She kills it. She goes about four times a week and she works every single day, like eight to six sometimes longer so she keeps me motivated yeah so I'm gonna go kill a workout with her tomorrow and then probably another one in the afternoon so I'm just gonna go home now make my meal before bed and then probably watch some of the PJ tour quite enjoying that and then yeah stay sure it is my morning cardio the sun's just about to set just starting to get chafe I was a fool though I didn't want to, I was too lazy to get changed, so just did a commando, starting to regret it now. But this grass here. I just want to show you, it's like one of the nicest patches of grass I've ever seen. I wouldn't mind sleeping on it, it's like a putting green. And it's uh, unusual, especially being in such a drought, barren country, making friends with the dogs. What's up? Yeah, so about 200 meters away, finishing up. Now, check it just now. Getting into bed now, about quarter to 11, get about eight hours of sleep, then do the same and back at it tomorrow. Thanks for watching, and just a, a thought to wake up with tomorrow. If, well, the next day after you watch this video and you wake up with, don't get out of bed in the morning unless you don't get out of bed in the morning if you haven't set yourself goals. I'm only going to do one take, so I'm not going to retake that really tight. So make sure you set yourself goals before you get up in the morning and make sure you go and. Go and get them, have some purpose.